On the Ground, presented by The Cube. Here's your host, John Furrier. Hello and welcome to the Cube on the Ground. I'm John Furrier, the host of the Cube. We are at the IBM Open Compute Summit. We're here at Laura Cooney with Cisco. Good to see you. Great to see you. It's so, been a while. Love following you on Twitter. A lot of action. You're rapid fire tweeter, but you're in all the action. What's going on with open source and Cisco? And get that out of the way. And one again, then I want to ask you some some pointy questions about Docker. Great. So I think that there's a lot going on with open source and Cisco. So I actually took on running open source strategy about two years ago at Cisco, and since then. Me and my team and my organization, which is the CTO's office, have actually invested in over 22 uh, or projects in open source to date. It's a, it's a big move since we were invested in three before, but now we've got over 20 investments, whether they're foundations or in GitHub yeah. and things like that. We're super excited, we're investing, and we're looking for really smart ways to actually further development and uh, move things forward in innovation. So this was a new CEO, obviously they had a new uh, John Chambers story career, uh, he's now chairman, but he got a new CEO. Open source is a shift, so not a shift technically, but openly with Cisco, they've done a lot of open source in the past. John was always supportive and it's great to see Chuck coming in and supporting this as well. I mean, I think it's awesome to have Chuck in there as a new CEO, um, he's definitely shaking things up. We're excited, everyone's excited, and uh, he's really an inspiration to, to the company. Well, Cisco attracts some great technical talent, so it must be exciting internally. Share some color around the open source, open source vibe internally at Cisco. What's it like inside right now? Everyone wants to do open source. <laughs> whether they're submitting to GitHub, whether we're actually donating code through foundations, it's a lot of different things that we're looking at yeah. doing, and it's across the company too. We're looking at inside of engineering, we're looking at inside of IT, where we're actually looking at new ways to displace you know, some, uh, you know, products that, you know, may be proprietary with open solutions, which we'll be hearing more about soon. So we do have an, our own Cisco, on Cisco, open source story as well. And uh, we're looking at a lot of different things to do, and we're also looking at uh, how we metric success, and we're looking at how we can actually provide that into the open and into folks so they can actually use it for metricing their own open source solutions. I saw to Todd more about at IBM about open source guys. We're all old school open source folks. So we're like, oh, we love it. But now that's gone mainstream. It, there's a social element to open source, and I don't mean like in a social media way, but in a collaborative way. A lot of people are lowering the surface area for interactions where people who were traditionally not allowed to go out and do stuff publicly, engineers or whatnot, now can go out, and it's almost like an open source party. GitHub is your new resume. It has really become the case. I've seen that on, on, on uh, mastheads. You know, LinkedIn profile, Twitter, and GitHub. Yep, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have three GitHub accounts. <laughs> One that I actually use. The other two I watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your take on the industry right now? What's the most exciting things that you're seeing right now? DockerCon was obviously a great Docker Madness mm -hmm. party. It was a great application focus, just seeing that. But we still saw a lot of people saying, hey, the network also has to be composable. That's Cisco's wheelhouse. The network that definitely does. One of the things that we are looking at and we find incredibly important, and we're working with lots of different open source folks like Cloud Foundry and OpenShift and this, is we are actually looking to drive network awareness at the application layer where the developers that are building applications don't need to understand what the network does, but they just get the right code in the right spot to have their application performance there and the application work and run well. So for customers that are out there watching or folks in the industry watching, what, how does the container trend fit into Cisco? Well, you can containerize lots of different things. I mean, you can containerize, uh, that's, that's the word of the day, right? Containerization. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things that we're looking at is Cisco is you can actually take network functions across the orchestration layer and containerize those, and it's actually a more scalable way to drive applications and services cross-platform, even at the networking layer, which people don't realize it's not just at the application layer, it's actually at the networking layer as well that that And you guys used. are actively involved in the community, obviously, in Docker. Uh, we actually are involved in OCI, and we're actually involved in uh, CNCF as well. So both working with Kubernetes and Docker and CoreOS and those guys. I mean, all these concepts, orchestration, this is policy-based, fill in the blank. This is Cisco's language, right? Mm -hmm. And then you guys, you know, must be cool to say, hey, they're all speaking the language of networks. It's, it's great to uh, be at the front of uh, lots of folks wanting you guys to engage because you do have the IP and we are looking at doing new things with our IP and looking at different ways we can ship products and how we can innovate faster yeah. and more effectively. And I think the company is just more open than before in terms of understanding what we need to do 
to, to work with our customers, our partners, yeah. our users, and our competitors, because at the end of the day, it's all about yeah. the code and the community. Yeah, last year here in Seattle at OpenStack Summit, I had a great conversation with Lou Tucker. I love Lou, And He's Lou awesome. is amazing. Lou, if you're out there, how you doing? But we had a, a good riffing conversation on this notion of interclouding. I mean, mm -hmm. I just made that word up and people kind of kick it around, but inter-networking was what made Cisco a great company because mm -hmm. of, of the TCP IP and all the great packets, mm -hmm. technology, network technology. But now multiple clouds is clear line of sight now. Customers mm -hmm. are saying, hey, I'm not going to have one cloud. Yep. I'm going to have a lot of clouds. So there's yeah. kind of like a inter-networking thing going on, interoperability mm -hmm. thing. This is, is this on Cisco's radar? It's definitely on Cisco's <laughs> radar and you will definitely be hearing more about it at Cisco Live US, which is in a couple of weeks. Okay, well yep. we hope we were there. Uh, we could be there, but theCUBE will not be there, but we'll hopefully next year. We will definitely work on catching up and uh, we'll yeah. be happy to give you some pre-briefs if you want. All right, final question. Share, take a minute to share with the audience uh, Cisco's open source mission, update, philosophy, vision. Really? So what we're, what we're looking to do is build a kick-ass community, some amazing code, and put some awesome products out there. Thank you. Lauren Cooney here at Cisco, open source, going, going mainstream everywhere, including the, all the top players in the industry. I'm John Furrier, we're on the ground here at the IBM Open Compute Summit.